All right, today in science class, we are going to be doing another experiment with our Red Bull and milk as a follow-up to the experiment that we did a couple weeks ago. Uh, first, for first experiment we did, we did with Red Bull and we did with milk, and we did it because we saw a YouTube video that showed the milk and Red Bull curdling. Um, so today, we're, we're going to try it again because the first experiment that we did did not work. And not only are we going to test uh, just milk and Red Bull, but we've got our low-fat milk, we've got our fat-free milk, we've got our vitamin D milk, strawberry milk, and chocolate milk. And for those of you that are watching, uh, my name is Mr. Mishler, and we are at North Liberty Elementary School, and this is my second grade class. So, here we go with round number two. Each milk had 70 milliliters. We're going to fill it up to a thousand. Okay, why don't you guys come up here and get a closer look. Look at the chocolate milk. Oh my gosh. Chocolate milk is definitely reacting. A lot of bubbles at top. We see it moving. Strawberry milk definitely reacting. Uh, definitely a separation there. The vitamin D milk uh, we can see reacting, but not as good as the strawberry and chocolate. The fat free milk. Uh, kind of. Not so much, which would be uh, exactly what happened with our. Uh, first experiment. Then we've got our low fat milk on the end, which shows to be doing very little, if not anything. Um, when we pan back, we definitely look at our strawberry and chocolate oh milk, gosh. and those two look to be reacting the most. Yes. Lots of bubbles on the top. Uh, the chocolate milk definitely is a big separation. Oh my god. Oh. Is there any trash can that You'll be fine. So, and so far we have waited about a minute. Okay, we're going to stop our video and we will get our results again here in two more minutes.